Hey, it's Carl here with another episode of Carl's Redneck Repairs. And we're not doing any repairs today. We are doing carpet cleaning. And that's um, in my van here. We got three kids, so anyone who knows kids know they make a hell of a fucking mess. So uh, here, I'll show you what I do. I just use one of these little post upholstery cleaners. Works great. Little green by Pizzle. Pizzle, or however the fuck you pronounce that. Uh, and all I use here is laundry soap. Oh, look, the camera can't even see me. Laundry soap and Walmart uh, a po oh, fucking uh, OxyClean. So, bring the camera a little closer here. Sorry about that. So, I'll zoom you out here. And here's a spot I haven't done. As you can see, look at this color of the carpet versus this color here that you can see a little bit of. This color here, you can see a big difference. So, I'll move the camera a little bit more again. A pretty substantial size area here. I'm going to do this whole area here and over here a bit and I'll show you guys how good this works like you can see the color difference right now in this versus this this has already been done this hasn't so here we go I always take this thing off because I hate how little bit of water it sprays out turn the machine on What you take your your attachment here with your brushes and just give it some elbow grease. Not enough water over here. You want a good amount of water. Because the drier it is, it's not going to pick up as much dirt. Because as you scrub, the dirt gets put into the water and then you take out the dirty water. So if you don't have enough water, then you're not going to pick up as much dirt. Because there's no water for that dirt to go into. So that dirt's just going to stay in the carpet. And there's no wait time on this. You don't have to do this scrub. Wait 45 minutes, 20 minutes. It's just spray, scrub, and suck it up. As we will do now.
could just look at that. And that is almost brand new. So push this. Oh. Tripod keeps coming loose. But as you can see, it was pretty easy. Not that hard. So don't go pay someone fucking couple hundred dollars, maybe three hundred fucking dollars, to detail your fucking car. You can do it yourself. Just be a redneck, like me, and say fuck paying other people. I would rather keep that money in my fucking pocket. And that's how I am. So, this is a little trick, just uh, laundry soap. Any fucking kind of laundry soap. Any kind. And any kind of uh, oxy cleaner. I go to Walmart, cheap as fucking shit around, and uh, you can have nice carpets again in your car. So, see you later. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Take it easy.